Evidence against a central Texas lawmaker is now going to a grand jury as she backs off on her pledge to resign from office. State Representative Donna Dukes from East Austin started her 12th term today when the Texas legislature convened. But Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore just told KXAN political reporter Phil Prazen that could lead her to court. He is live at the Capitol with the details. Phil? Well, Shannon, Moore told me just two hours ago that as early as next Tuesday, Texas Rangers will present evidence against Donna Dukes to a grand jury. The allegations are tampering with an official document and abuse of official capacity. Now, in the 2015 legislative session, Dukes was absent a lot. She says she was recovering from physical and mental issues associated with a car crash the two years before. But after 2015, former staffers reported she made them run personal errands on state time and misuse state mileage reimbursement. That led to the Rangers' investigation. They gave their findings to the prior Travis County District Attorney, Rosemary Lemberg. The current DA tells me Lemberg's office agreed to delay the grand jury until after Dukes resigned from office, which was supposed to be today. But Representative Dukes showed up and took the oath of office for her 12th term, and now 12 people will hear evidence against her next week. A vote of nine of them would indict the representative. Dukes herself wouldn't talk about the criminal case, but she did talk about the people who thought they would run for her seat in a special election. Every member up here will be challenged by an opponent at some point in time. Um, this is great fodder for them to, you know, pick up and make some challenges and to have their press conferences. You cannot stop anybody from doing that. So, you know, so be it. But for now, she still is Representative Donna Dukes, and she says her main priority this session will be helping to revamp the struggling child protective services here in Texas. We will take a closer look at the investigation, however, on KXAN News at 6. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Phil Prazen, KXAN News.